This video is brought to you by Repl.it, a powerful platform for educators, learners, and developers that makes coding and collaborating easy. Use the name Sean Pritchard in the link below to sign up today and start programming in your browser. All right, so in this video, we're going to go over map and weak map. And I wanted to bring us back to the object to kind of, you know, bring a few things home real quick uh, with this example I got set up here, um, where I've got two objects established, an empty one and one with a couple key value pairs. Now, JavaScript lexical scope um, has some different functionality in it to where if I block this object one out, even though you got to see here, I have it declared as object one. I'm going to go ahead and block that out for a minute. Um, Lightning. And uh, we're going to run this and we're going to console log object one and see what we get back. And you're going to see that we get object, object, object one back. Now, even though those values are stored in memory and I change this, the lexical scope is going to print out object one as the value of object two. And let's run and see how that works. So we're going to get the value back object two, which we described here. But what we're not going to get back is the actual object, which are these keys and these values. Um, which we should be able to store, but we can't because objects can't store other objects as key values. And hence why we need maps and weak maps. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open one thing. Um, weak maps not only offer the ability to, to store um, key value pairs, uh, objects, arrays um, as a key, uh, but it gives us the ability to change data from the outside. Uh, it gives us the ability to, you know, combine objects uh, and different types of data and data structures and together uh, to create bigger and more elaborate objects that we can work with um, and enhance. It gives us iteration as well. Now, object we cannot iterate through um, technically unless we use some special functionality, but I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to use the for of and the for in. I'll show you real quick if I run this. Uh, we're going to get an error. It's just going to lock up on me because we can't run it. So let me press that here. Let me actually close this console log out and let's run this and see what happens. And you see here we get a type error because we can't loop straight through an object. We can't go through object and loop through key one and key two, uh, either either one of their keys or values um, doing this. We have to convert this into a type that we can actually loop through, which would most likely be an array. Um, because we can loop through arrays. So this is why we have maps and weak maps. Again, maps and weak maps are like super objects. They give us iteration and give us the ability to change, uh, you know, values and keys uh, from the outside, from the scope. And we'll go over weak map, which gives us that weak reference, uh, that, that shadow copy reference uh, of the data in the browser. And we'll work and see how that actually works. And I'll show you some live examples of that. So um, about map, we've already went over it. Um, you can read this stuff if you want to go uh, get the code. The link to this code is in the description below. And uh, basically uh, what we're doing is using a map to uh, create a few things. And I'm going to show you some of its functionality and show you how we can use it for iteration. Um, also know that with a map, um, we can convert a map into an array. And I'm going to show you how to do this directly as well. Um, so let's go ahead and let's check out what we've got. So this first little example here, basically we got to establish a map uh, using the constructor method uh, where we use the new keyword uh, to instantiate the map um, object that we're going to be working with. And here I got it's basically a 2D array. And if I go ahead and print this, you see here that we get this funny looking symbol with the fat arrows in it because it's actually pointing to the different values and dividing each array up. And this is what a 2D array looks like. Now, Map has some built-in functionalities, uh, these methods uh, like has, get, set, where we can actually set information of key value type into the map object that we're creating. So here you can see we can use strings, um, we can use primitive types and objects, whereas in weak set, which we'll find out where we can only use objects. But a map, we can use all everything. And right here, I've got an array. And what this is going to do is it's going to append this information into this map object that we've already created. You can see here that now we have a full map with all the values and we're getting the values that we've set here um, appended into that. So now uh, you see our array here, second element and so forth and so on. And the third element uh, came out on top three and like that. So if I actually take all this information out here. We can run this again and you'll see that we get an empty map object 
and we loop through because we're only printing math as a math object here and then right here we're actually dishing out everything that we set into that map all right so I've got a couple different um, methods here that we can use to actually iterate through a map unlike an object we can't iterate through we can iterate through maps because maps are these dynamic data structures that let us use objects and arrays as key value pairs so let's go ahead and check out what we've got here alright so the first one is a for of loop and basically we're using this uh, array based key value uh, terminology here these parameters here to loop through both the keys and the values whereas before just using an, uh, an of loop we would just basically use some keyword there um, and that keyword would hold the values while it loops through but since we're working with a map um, we can work with both the keys and the values uh, so if I run this you'll see that we actually get loop number one and we get the key which is one and then we get the values totally second um, which are these keys and these values up here now remember each thing we're getting set up here is an entire object on its own so that's what we're getting printed out um, then we have the entries function that comes with this and the map entries right here is a method that comes with map uh, to allocate the different entries now I can return the keys or the values using this entry method um, similarly to what we just did above but we get a little bit of different output here and here we're just assigning map to the for each function which is going to iterate through and I'm assigning a function here to grab the parameters key and value and we're going to print out the parameters um, that this for each loop is going to loop through and you see here we get one two three and third element five and six one first and you see that we get some different um, data here now the cool thing about map is we can instantly convert objects within objects that are set as the key values into arrays all i have to do is establish a, a, a constant array here um, just this variable and use the spread operator uh, to append it to our map kind of like we did with the for each up here and uh, we console log that and we'll see that we'll get a full array back and you can see we got an entire array built out of objects that uh, was really simple to implement and map lets us do that now like the map weak map is essentially just as good not better it's got a couple more bonus features and that is uh, it holds that weak key reference to the value that we're storing all these data values right here these are all stored in the browser memory in the cache okay so all of these values here um, are kind of permanent until we you know refresh the browser or you know put some method in place to uh, unload those values from memory so the weak map allows us to actually take these values a reference to these values a shadow copy of these values just like copying those values and it puts them somewhere else so we can work with them that way we can change them and update them and do things we're not actually affecting the values inside the memory uh, in the browser so basically a weak map um, the first difference is that uh, the weak map must be an object uh, the key must be an object where as a map we can use primitive values uh, weak map only accept object as keys uh, and garbage collection is uh, simply collecting and freeing back memory of which object has already been allocated uh, and it can be used to extend objects from the outside which is really important and another thing I want to mention is weak map not only um, can it avert the the memory um, of working with data data values outside of the memory in its own reference but um, we can use weak map to actually store values too uh, since we're taking a shadow copy of a value um, say if we wanted to change 1 and 2 here to 11 and 12 we can use a weak map to change those values and the weak map would actually store those values. So let's go ahead and let's look at the little examples I got here. Um, this one right here, just we're establishing a weak map just like we do a map, uh, but we use the weak map um, method here, which is a constructor method using the new keyword. And basically we're setting an empty object and we're gonna use the set keyword um, to establish that key, add the key value and add the value to that object. And then we're just gonna output basically the structure of what this weak map is so we're not going to work with any values yet so let me um, clear this out and let's run this all right so our weak map equals an object 
and a weak map. You see here that establishes that we got to have an object or else we'll be able to pass that key value here. So remember, a weak map must be an object and an object can be in the form of a list or an array as well. Now go ahead and look over here at this. We're going to have a new console log here and what we're going to do is we're going to use the get keyword to actually get the values that we've established here. Uh, now we're not going to get the object back, but we are going to get the value for that key back. And let's go ahead and run this and see how that works. You can see here we got hello world with our weak map back because we've used the get method. We also have the has method that comes with weak map as well. We can check um, basically a ref boolean reference to see if uh, there's an object uh, within the key. Categories of things. This is when you would use weak map and map to combine categories of objects. So let's go and check this out. All right, so let's move on to this next part where we're actually going to see weak map and map in action. And I'm going to show you how the references between the two um, exist. So first, uh, I'm going to show you here we got just a little object, okay? Now you can see here that I've put brackets around this object. So this is the scope of whatever functions I put in here. But I'm going to go ahead and put my console log outside of it. So none of this should exist. We shouldn't be able to pick it up. But I'm going to go ahead and change this to map. And we'll undo this one right here. And... Uh, and you'll see here basically what we're doing is we're establishing a new map um, we're setting x which is our object here um, to the actual key and then we just got some value that we call map value here and then we're going to console log that out so let's go ahead i'm going to clear the console over here uh, in dev tools and i do have a little console log here but dev tools just does a better job of showing me the data of what i need to show you to kind of get across to you on how this works and you see that how i just moved that it actually the windows refreshed and it opened up these values here so you can see that uh, the entries here uh, are the key and the object now I can go ahead and change this object uh, put it to number two and put like 189 there and uh, let's run that again and you'll see um, it's printing like I got two console logs either way one more um, you can see that the values uh, have changed in here now what happens if I change this uh, to weak map? So if I just go ahead and uh, open this, save me some time on typing it out because I know how tedious that can be. Um, and we actually run this, what do you think is gonna happen? Because remember, this right here is weak. It means it's a reference. It means we're not dealing with the actual memory allegation, right? It's a weak reference. But because we're doing this all online and I'm using these IDE editors, uh, we do come into some problems because it loads everything and it stores everything for us so that way um, you know our code doesn't get lost so it remembers everything and records everything for us um, so let's run this see what happens oh wait I forgot I gotta change that back all right so there's weak map run that and here we go you see we got weak map value um, we got the same object um, with the same values in it now what happens if I turn these back to object one and I just take those letters. I run that, we get a weak map, values have nothing in them. Why does the values have nothing in them? Well, that's because the reference of this object that I was getting was established by map. So that means it was put into the browser's cache. And when it was put into the browser's cache, along with this little ID I'm using that saves everything that I do, it, it saved that and you got to remember this is its own scope right here so when I call it outside the scope I shouldn't be able to call it anything so therefore weak map shows us that it's no longer attached to the reference that was established by map uh, so the object reference here um, which should have been saved in here which we've seen through here is gone and that's how weak map and map ultimately work Hey, do you want to know what type of gear I'm using or what type of computer build I've got? Or maybe you're just looking for quality gear that has been tested and researched personally by me. Well, if so, head over to kit.co forward slash Sean Key to find out.